Welcome guys, I am Soha Malik and in this video I am going to teach you how to use slide master in PowerPoint or how to use slides in PowerPoint. So using slides you can edit your whole document very quickly. You don't need to go to individual slide to make changes. For example, I have created this sort of guest book that was actually a line journal and using slide master I have turned all these pages into some sort of guest book so in this video i will be showing you this is how to change this in just one click on all the pages you don't need to duplicate all these pages 100 times or you don't need to edit each page individually so before doing this if you're new to my channel then do subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new video from me so let's get started so first of all you need to go to file and create some sort of document like blank slide and control plus a to delete this one and go to then design and slide size custom slide size and for the sake of this video i will be creating a page of 8.5 inches into 11 inches and hit ok and then ensure fit so instead of creating a page here i will go to view slide master and from here i will select this very first slide that is title slide i will click here and control plus a hit delete and then go to insert and shapes and select this one this is line icon uh, line and then go to here this size is 7.5 as the width is 8.5 i am selecting the line to 7.5 leaving 0.5 inch margin to, toward the both sides then click on this line go to shape format and change the outline color to something grayish like this and then go to align and align center now click on this and control plus d from your keyboard as drag this like this and then control plus d many times as many times you add, you want to add as many lines so we have made a very simple lined page here and now just control plus g to group it now we have created a line page and now close this slide master view this has been added on our very first page now just duplicate this to make 120 pages okay 60 control a and duplicate to make 120 pages like this now if you want to add something on each page you don't need to delete these 119 pages and edit the first one and then go back to edit the first page and then again duplicate the solution is slide master as we have created this page in slide master we cannot edit it edit this page here the solution is just go back to view slide master and select this slide that is the title slide and here go to insert and add some text like date you can add here date just zoom in and drag a line like this and place it here okay now go to slide master here and close view and now you can see this has been added on all pages on all 120 pages in just one click we have added this to using slide master so again i want to add something more here and i want to change the font or uh, color of this i will go back to view slide master this slide here and this one and go here then go to home tab and select the color to grayish again now I, I go here and duplicate this and move it here like this 
and here I will add day and now we are done again view slide master and close now this has been added on all pages again day date and day now I want to change the format of this one I want to add some sort of day month and year so I will go back and again to slide master and on this master page this is the page just zoom out I'm doing in haste and haste is making waste so here just delete uh, just reduce it and add a forward um, slash like this and second slash and add a line so this is day month and year and then close this slide again now we can see to have a better look just go to slideshow and from the beginning and we can see this has been added on all the pages 120 pages in just editing one page now i want to turn this simple line journal page into a sort of to-do list or you can say guest book i will go back to slide master again this page again and here i will draw some sort of shape that divides this these lines into half so like this drag a rectangle shape fill color white and the outline white as well and reduce this size here like this and go align align center and align middle no not middle control plus z no it has been divided into two columns if you want to divide this into four columns just duplicate this little shape and rotate it while holding shift and it will perfectly rotate it then go back to align and align middle you can reduce its size by 8.5 and then click on this again shape format and align center now close the master view and again view our page you can see it has been divided into four core four parts so if you want to add some sort of text then you go back to slide again it has been changed on all pages don't need to delete duplicate them just go back to slide master again and from here just drag this one and you can write here or uh, duplicate this one and move it here to make a to-do list you can write here priorities and you can then again duplicate this one and here you can write notes i am just writing it is not a perfect to-do list but it is sort of to-do list here you can write daily to do and here you can change this to date and just close the master view so it has been turned into a to-do list go to slideshow and see daily to do day priorities i am scrolling to next pages and it is not showing that it is changed or not but here we can see the pages have been changed all pages have been changed 120 pages have been turned into uh, some sort of notebook to-do list so in this way you can use uh, slide master to 
make changes on multiple pages in just one click and one just to show you something more I have created this one this is chapter 1 chapter 2 and like that so I want to uh, change the position of this uh, and change the color of this text I don't need to change on all pages just I need to go to view and side master and here I will just change click here and change the font here to something Arial black and change the size uh, of the text box and move it here go to shape format line center okay now change the color again to something blackish and close slide master and see the magic it has been changed on all slides so this is how you can make changes on all pages not going to individual slides and making tiny changes on each page you can make use of powerpoint slide slide master to make changes and save your precious time so i hope you will love this video i am so malik signing off and if you were new subscribe to my channel also hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new video from me and also check out my blog lowcontentprofits.com i have recently created a post about kdp account terminated five most common mistakes i will leave the link in the description of this video so that you can read so thanks for watching see you in the next video